Hi guys, um, this is gonna be like about me, this is gonna be like an about me video because, you know, when people start following a vlogger, they really like to know details about them, so I'm gonna try to not make this too long, I can't make it longer than 15 minutes, and if I do, there'll be a part two, so I'll just have to try to not be long-winded, which is really hard, so... I guess I'll start with like the obvious. Um, I am 24 years old. I'm almost 25. I'll be 25 in like two and a half months. Um, I was almost 24 when I got pregnant with Molly. And I obviously had her when I was 24. Um, my husband is nine months and six days older than me. So he is 25. We are the same age for three months, which is pretty cool. Um, his birthday is in June. He'll be 26. Ooh. Um, he graduated from high school in 06. I graduated in 07. We met in high school when we started dating when I was a junior. He asked me to homecoming because he knew I had a crush on him and he knew I would say yes and he just needed someone to go with. And his friends started shouting out random names. My name came up and he was like, oh yeah, I'll ask her. And then he ended up falling for me. That's the very short version of the story. Um, we got married June 2nd, 2012. So we've been married for a year and a little more than a year and a half. And she's sleeping. I really hope she doesn't wake up. Um, so that's, we met in high school. We were high school sweethearts. Um, I went to college after I graduated from high school, and I have a degree in music. My major instrument was instrument was bass trombone. I know I'm very madly. Oh. Um, I haven't played in like a year, and I'm letting my friend borrow my horn right now, so I don't even have it right now. But I do have intentions of playing again, like once. Probably It probably won't be for a few years, because I'm planning on having a lot of kids and all that, and I want them to be older. So we'll see what happens, but I will definitely do something with music, even if it isn't bass, trombone. Uh, my husband actually has not gone to college yet, because he went on his mission, and he was a little older. He was 21 when he went, and so he spent those few years before he went working to make money for that, and then when he came back, he came back April 2011, uh, we, I waited for him, because I'm an introvert, and it was really easy to wait for him, so I waited for him, it was really hard, I mean, it sucked, I was really depressed and stuff, but it was easy not to dear John him, if that's, you know, so, um, we dated for like eight months before we got engaged, and he didn't go to school. Like He was working because he had to get us a place to live, so he got a job, and um, he didn't want to get engaged until he had a place, which he actually, we got engaged before he got a place, but we found a place before we got married, so it all worked out. So we had talked about getting married, like for sure, August 2011, and I got engaged on Christmas Day. I know it's so sweet. And there is a video of that on my other channel or whatever. Um, if you dig hard enough, you can find it of me getting engaged. He did film it. So I was like, hmm, I'm pretty sure I'm getting engaged because he's filming it. So, um, and then... Like, six months later, we got married. He wanted to wait until I graduated to get married. I graduated from college in 2012, and then a month, less than a month later, we got married. So that was pretty cool. We went on our honeymoon and all that. Um, let's see what else. Uh, where I live. Okay. I'm not going to get super specific, but um, I live in Idaho, I have lived in Idaho for most of my life. In fact, we moved to Idaho when I was almost three, and I've lived here ever since. 
Um, we live in a house. We actually bought my parents' house. So I own and I'm living in the house that I grew up in for 20 years. So I know this house very well. And I know the area, I know the people. So that's really nice. I'm trying to think of like any other questions that people ask. Like, how many kids do I have? I just have one, I just have Molly. She's my first child. She is my third pregnancy. And I'll make a total separate video about my pregnancy journey because obviously since she's my third pregnancy and my first child, I have had some pregnancy losses and it really sucked a lot and I was very depressed and very angry about it. And when I got pregnant with her, I was very, very anxious. I really wanted to make videos. I wanted to make vlogs really bad, but I was so scared that if I... Uh, acknowledged my pregnancy that it would end because that's what happened the last two times so I didn't vlog about it I did blog about it I have a blog I've had a blog for a long time so it's not like I didn't do anything but I didn't vlog about it I wish I had but that's just how it happened it is what it is so one of my resolutions in 2014 was to start vlogging, so perfect, I am. Um, let's see, am I religious? Yes, I am. You can probably guess what my religion is. I'm not going to like really get into it because I don't want any flame wars, but um, yes, I'm a very religious person, so is my husband, of course, and so, but I... You know, whatever. That's all I'm going to really say about that. Um, what else? Let's see. I'll do, like, a controversial parenting tag or whatever. Stuff like that, like, in the future. Basically, for a lot of things, my view is, like, it doesn't affect me... People have the reasons for doing stuff. They're going to probably do it whether it's legal or not. Just, you know, anything. I'm not even talking about just parenting. I'm talking about just stuff in general. Um, as long as it doesn't affect somebody else, like, I'm okay with it. Like, I have my own opinions, but I also know and understand that... Um, People have other opinions, so that's just how I am in general. Um, oh, jobs. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, I have a job. I am on maternity leave right now. I'm trying to end that. Like, I was talking about ending it. I forgot I need a doctor's note to, like, release me that I'm fit to work. And I forgot about that, and so I have an appointment with my midwife in a few weeks, so I might just wait until then. I totally forgot what my appointment is, so I think I might call them and be like, when's my appointment? And if it is really far away, then I might ask if I can get that note sooner, because I really want to go back to work. And I want to work 20 hours, right now I'm working 5, like I've said in another video. But anyway, yes, I have a job, and my husband actually works at the same place I do. Um, he was working at a bank as a teller, and then he found this job that we both work at, like, in May of 2012. It was, like, right before we got married. And... He became a supervisor, like, really fast, too. So he's a supervisor there. And then he told me it would be a perfect job for me. And, like, I was really reluctant to go because I thought... I was totally convinced I was going to have a baby immediately. And I was just going to not work, be a stay-at-home mom. But obviously it didn't work out like that. Um, I decided to get a job anyway. And I actually, when I got interviewed and stuff, I was still I just found out I was pregnant with my first pregnancy so I did get a job before I knew I was pregnant 
And then, of course, I didn't keep that pregnancy, so I worked for a lot longer. And then I realized that I did not want to be a stay-at-home mom anymore. I wanted to work just so that I could contribute to the income and so that I would have somewhere to go so I didn't completely lose myself and become an invisible mother because I didn't like that. So our job, what we do is um, I put captioning on telephone calls so to see, it's it's a really interesting job. It's a call center, but I don't make any calls. What I do is I get a call, and then I transcribe it, and then it, like the program puts it puts captions on um, a special telephone. So, um, and we we don't type. We actually use the Dragon program to do that. So, I have learned how to repeat back what someone says in a very monotone and like clear voice because the program knows my voice and so it'll come out a lot better than if they tried to do that so it's really cool it's a cool job it's a cool program so basically all day I hear half of a telephone conversation so it's like if I was hearing someone yakking on their phone on the bus and I'm not really allowed of course to talk about exactly what the conversations are, but most of our clientele are older, so most of the conversations have to do with things that older people talk about. I've heard some very interesting things, let me tell you. I can't, like, say what any of them are, I can't really expand, but I have heard some interesting things at my job. Um, I hear a lot of opinions, I hear a lot of stories, I hear a lot of life stories, I hear a lot of funny things, I hear a lot of drama, you know. So, it's fun, and I, I really love my job, because I get to sit, and most, I'd say, like, the people that work there are either older women, young couples, or college students, so it's really fun. There are a ton of pregnant women at my job. It's a really easy job to have when you're pregnant, so, of course, I was in that demographic. We sit all day, so that was really nice. I didn't swell up. So yes, we both work there, it's really close to our house, it's really nice, so I'm trying to end my maternity leave right now so that I can go back to work, and it's taking a little longer than I thought it would just because I forgot that I need a doctor's note, I'm not mad, I just, like, oh yeah, I forgot. So yes, I do have a job, I do work, although I haven't worked in a month and some, I took my maternity leave right before her due date, and she wasn't born for another, like, almost week, but, um, whatever. So, I guess those are the basics. I didn't really talk about my family. I'll do that real fast. Um, my husband is the oldest of nine children, and he's really the only one that's moved out and gotten married and all that. Um, the next in line, his brother is in the military. Everyone else lives at home. One of his brothers works where we do. He works with us, and we take him home when he works nights. So that's really nice. And then, as for me, my family, I am the youngest of two. I just have an older sister, and you'll figure this out as you watch future videos. Yeah, she does have Down syndrome, which is kind of cool. She's got, you know, she's special. She's got more chromosomes than we do. And she is my only sibling, and... My parents live here. His parents live here, too. My parents moved across town to be closer to their job. And my sister doesn't live with them. She lives um, in a cool place. I'll talk about it later. I might do a video just about her because I'm running out of time. So, um, yes, like all four of Molly's grandparents live here. Um, she made... All four of our parents' grandparents. She's the first grandbaby on both sides of the family. And she made most of my grandparents... Or she made my dad's parents great-grandparents. I do have cousins on my mom's side that have kids. So my grandpa... This is his fifth great-grandchild, which is cool. My grandma on that side of the family passed away five years ago. So, But she's a great-grandma five times as well. So I'm running out of time, so I'm going to go... So I hope you at least learned something. So, bye-bye.